Hello everyone. In the last session, we discussed about the the short pitch winding. So this is a short pitch winding. In this, we already discussed about the pitch factor and coil span and how to what is the uh, short pitch angle and what is the coil span for the short pitch angle. These points are discussed. Let's uh, continue the previous session. So generally in the last discussion we will get this is alpha. Alpha is nothing but short pitch angle. Short angle we can name it as the short pitch angle. It is a 30 degrees and then we have the coil span is 150 degrees. That means here most of the machine coil span is 150 degrees only. So all the machines almost try to prefer the 150 degrees such that nearly 5th and 7th harmonics are eliminated. So 5th, 7th both harmonics are eliminated by this combination. So here generally coil span is between 120 degrees to 150 degrees that is we can write 120 is 2 by 3rd of the pole pitch that means 2 by 3rd of the 180 and 5 by 6 of the pole pitch that is the 5 by 6 of the 180 yes yeah this is 60 times 60 means we will get the 120 6 means 30 times 30 means we will get the 150 yes so 2 by 3rd to 5 by 6 times of pole pitch only generally coil span is defined so here if coil span is beta then what is the kp value kp is we have the formula that is cos alpha by 2 cos alpha means cos 30 by 2 cos 30 by 2 means we have the cos 15 cos 15 value is generally 0.965 0.965 this is the kp value so kp value equal to 0.965 yes so what is the meaning of 0.965 means 96.5 percent of fundamental will exist 3.5 percent is reduced here the meaning is so then the one output is generated that means output voltage is generated in that 96 percent is only fundamental that means fundamental means first n equal to 1 n equal to 1 is available that is we can call the fundamental next in the total 3.5 percent is reduced here if for example coil span beta is 120 degrees then the alpha is become the 60 degrees then kp equal to cos 60 by 2 cos 60 we can write the cos 30 cos 30 we can write root 2 by 3 sorry root 3 by 2 so this value we can write root 3 by 2 we can write the 0.866 value then kp is 0.8666 what is the meaning of the 0.86 here 86.6 percentage of fundamental will exist fundamental exist the remaining we have remaining some 14.13.4 percent we have the harmonics harmonic content is available harmonic here also 3.5 percent reduced means 3.5 percent is harmonic content is available okay so this is the importance of the pitch factor so when we are using short pitch coil the total fundamental will be reduced but harmonics will be eliminated harmonics are more affected on the system magnitudes next what are the advantages of short pitch winding if you are using the short pitch winding what are the advantages we will get right here the first advantage is dominant harmonics can be eliminated dominant harmonics means here 3 pi 7 these are the dominant harmonics why it is called dominant harmonic generally so 
F3, we can means mm of mmf produced by the third harmonic, we can write 1 by 3 into F1. That means 33% it will be available. F5 means 20% it will be available. That's why it has high mmf magnitude, we should call dominant harmonics. Then EG is more sinusoidal. When harmonics is removed, eliminated, then generated EMF become the more sinusoidal. For that, then, then what is the use? Iron losses will be reduced. Why iron losses? Here the frequency will be reduces and automatically efficiency will be increases. Losses is decreases means here the efficiency will be increases. Next, second point. Saving of copper at the end rings are more and it is economical. So that means if it is a full pitch winding, full pitch winding means this is the category. If it is a short pitch winding, what happened? The this will be this will be the copper will be saved in this region. So that's why savings of the copper is and it is more economical. Next. Net coil length will be decreases. So name itself here. Net coil length is the decreases. Next. Fourth, voltage regulation will be better. So it has more voltage regulation. What is voltage regulation? V node minus V full load by V full load into 100 is called the voltage regulation. Is called the voltage regulation. This will be better. Next. Disadvantages. So we have some disadvantages also with that. The disadvantage is small reduction in fundamental voltage. The fundamental voltage will be reduced. So that means if you are using 30%, 96.5, fundamental is available for alpha equal 30 degrees. If alpha equal 60 degrees, then we have 86.6% of the fundamental will be available. That's why the that's why so the fundamental will be decreases okay yeah so this is about the advantages and the disadvantages of the short pitch finding next so we have some mcqs then we will have the clear idea the first MC, mcq is generated emf is more for which one is short pitch winding another one is long pitch c is full pitch so here generally short pitch and long pitch compare with full pitch has more emf generated so c is the answer but it consisting of the it consisting of the harmonics it consisting of the harmonics more emf is generated compare with that Next, coil span to eliminate the fifth harmonic. What is the coil span to eliminate the fifth harmonic? So generally, coil span beta equal, we can write the formula like this. So to eliminate fifth harmonic means n equal to five, n equal to five. Then the coil span formula equal to n minus 1 by n into full pitch full pitch we can write not full pitch full pitch we can write so what is fifth n minus 1 means 5 minus 1 by 5 into here the full pitch we can write the full pitch not full pitch this is the full pitch then beta value equal to 4 by 5 into full pitch beta value equal to 4 by 5 into pole pitch generally pole pitch value you know that pole pitch value is 180 degrees pole pitch means pole angle we can call it as the pole angle which is nothing but the angle next coil span of the alternator is 160 degrees and which of the following harmonic is absent here the question is different he given coil span that is the 160 degrees and he is asking to find out 
what is the harmonic value here the formula is again same formula beta equal to n minus 1 by n into 180 here beta equal to 160 and n minus 1 by n into 180 okay uh, we can write 0 0 and 2 8 ja 16 2 9 ja this then we can write the 8 by 9 here n minus 1 by n and then just compare it you will get n value is 9 n minus value is 8 then n value is the 9 so by looking at this uh, the ninth harmonic is eliminated ninth harmonic is eliminated understand so we can eliminate the ninth harmonic by this okay and we have some more problems that will be discussed later okay this is about the short pitch winding and some of the problems regarding this short pitch winding okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you